morning. How is everyone today? Hope everyone is doing well. Today, we have made some changes, Oswald. We have made some changes. So, as I showed you all yesterday, I, I made this big area for them to play in back here. And today, we have the Favrils on the loose. This looks so janky, doesn't it? <laughs> but it works, right? It, so far, it's worked. I'm waiting for the chickens to figure out that all they need to do is simply jump up and over. Oh, see, first problem right there. I knew that was going to happen. <sighs> Me and my shoddy worksmanship. But that's why I was kind of hanging out down here to see what was going to go down. We'll fix that here in a minute. But anyway, so... The Favrils have been laying very, very tiny eggs. The other chickens have been laying very large eggs, like big eggs, extra large eggs. And I was thinking that it may be a breed thing. Yes, it may just be because these guys are special that they have smaller eggs. But these guys laid smaller eggs for a while too. So I'm thinking that because they're kind of almost free ranging, <laughs> kind of free-ranging, um, that their eggs are bigger because they have a bigger variety of food and they get more food. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I don't know. That's my theory. So I'm going to test it out. Old Jack sticking with me like a champ, as she always does. So we have no eggs yet. We should be getting into uh, prime time for egg laying. And, uh, We'll see what happens. We got 10 yesterday. We got 12 the day before. The Favrils didn't lay an egg yesterday, though. They, they're, they're an every other day kind of girl. Um, I've noticed they they lay an egg about every other day. So I get one, one day, one the next day, and then none the next day. That's just the way it goes. So it must be not every other day, but maybe every other other day for one of them. I don't know. Anyway. But as you see, the last time I experimented with this, the Favrils would not leave their kennel. Today, they zoomed straight out. They went running about like the champions they are. Oh, goodness. Burp. Yeah, you'll have to get used to that one. But, uh, yeah. Gracie says, they're loose, they're loose. Oh, <laughs> oh anyway, so. Oh, action chicken. Da -da -da. I love these two chickens, you guys. You have no idea. They're so fun. JG and Marie. Yeah, I think they like it. I was worried about them there for a minute because, like I said, the last time I did this, they, uh, they just kind of stayed where they were. Like, they weren't quite sure what to do. Maybe they thought the world outside was just a little bit too big. I get that. I feel that sometimes too. But they're strutting today, boys and girls. Goodness, it is red alert. Yes, yes, the beautiful Favrils. So, as I mentioned, the egg production has been stellar, hasn't it, Felicity? They've, uh, they've really been producing, so I, uh, I certainly appreciate that. Now we have an abundance of eggs. I think we have six and a half dozen. <laughs> yeah, I gave my neighbor a dozen. Um, I've been hard boiling a dozen. I try to keep a keep a little container of uh, hard boiled eggs in the in the refrigerator. So uh, my ninja cooker does very well with that. What Jack? So yeah, everybody's good. Mr. Oswald. It's very cloudy today. I'm, uh, I'm hoping that we get some rain. It has been rather dry. So, uh, you know, getting some rain would be a pretty good thing, I think. Taking a look at Faddle's butt. Her butt's been a little icky, with a little poo. So, I've been trying to keep a close eye on that. What? And what do you want, Jacqueline? Silly girl. Gwenny's been getting close to me. 
Gwenny the Henny. And I, uh, I like that because Gwen is a beautiful bird. She is a beautiful girl as she walks away. Hate to see you leave, but I love to watch you go, girl. That's right. Mm -mm. And then we've got this, too, which I'm a little concerned about. Mm -hmm. I, I see some dirty butts. And as we know, we've lost some over dirty butts. So I've been keeping an eye on it again because everything I read says don't panic. Rule one, don't panic. And uh, so I've not been panicking. I've just been keeping an eye on it. Her and Faddle have uh, some pretty ugly butts, but they're not, I've, I've been checking them daily. They're not getting gross. So hopefully that trend continues. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, guys. As you can see, the chickens really like to go over there in that one little area. I'm scared to death to put them together because, well, goodness sakes, friends. I'm so sorry. Apologies for my disgusting ro rooster. <laughs> he likes the limelight, don't you? Yeah. He's like, take a look at me, ladies. <laughs> anyway, I'm scared to death to put the favrels with the other chickens because the last time I did, they... Uh, they pluck the feathers out of their legs and they do the same thing to him right you can see see where they pluck the feathers off of his legs like the the other chickens just are not tolerant of chickens with feathers on their legs gwen had them too and see you can see where they they anytime little little feather buds start coming out they pluck them out it's the strangest thing just uh, zero tolerance for uh, feathered legs and feet here in the barnyard, I guess. I, whatever, girls. Yeah, that that did look pretty gross for a while, but it's not, uh, it's not too bad. Of course, he's the man, so I mean, we got to keep him in here. We've been having uh, vultures that have been circling about. They're up here a lot. Even before I was letting the chickens out, they were up here quite often. So I don't think it's anything, any type of like major threat. But uh, definitely something I, I like to keep an eye on because they've been uh, they've been coming pretty close, like swooping pretty low. So we've been doing uh, vulture drills to uh, make sure that the girls get to safety when the vultures come around. Not really. That's not true. But it's okay. It sounded cool. So here we are, folks. It's Saturday. Yep. <laughs> it's Saturday. How exciting. I hope everybody's got awesome weekend plans. I have been up since 4.30 this morning. That's uh, good times, good times. Yeah. It's going to be a long day, friends. Long, long day. But we get to hang out with these guys. I went to Rural King the other day and I saw the coolest little bunny. It was a little boy bunny. I really want registered and pedigreed rabbits. I know that that sounds really pretentious, but I mean, you know, I'd, I would really, really like to have them, um, you know, so that I can, I can breed them. And if I don't use them for meat or, you know, whatever, I can use them for a show, possibly. So I'm really looking for that, but I went to the Rural King and the, the bunnies they had, they weren't registered or anything. They were just bunnies, but they had a, a black otter Rex male bunny and he was so cute and I wanted him so bad, but she didn't know if it was a mini Rex or a standard Rex. And I'm really, really wanting the standard Rex. So um, I refrained from picking up Benjamin Bunny. Um, actually, his name was Bart. But, um, I, uh, I did not get him. He was so pretty. But, um, much like you, Miss Felicity. Felicity Phyllis. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's next on the, that's next on the plan. Is to, uh, no, oh, the Favrils are frolicking. Frolicking Favrils. They're so funny, you guys. You just have no idea. Look at them run.
too funny. What a riot. But anyway, I was thinking that this area back here would be good for bunny cages. Because it's shaded most of the day, it does get good light. But I could put some bunny cages right here. It would be back here out, out of the way of the of everything. We wouldn't have to smell them. Hmm. Because bunnies smell. These chickens smell too. But um, part of the reason that I wanted to give them more room was to maybe let their like inside area recover a little bit. Um, because it's seen better days, obviously. I don't think grass will ever grow there again. I know it will, but, um, it'll be a minute. Yeah, so I'm, uh, just trying to give them a little bit of extra room, and I really do think that it has made a difference in their eggs. I think it's, it's helping them to produce larger eggs, or that might just be their age. They might just be, you know, maturing, and it's, making them lay larger eggs and maybe that'll happen with the favorals too who knows but we have our security guards over here standing watch and you know it, it's it's like nothing is more secure than someone's food if they really want it so I know no one else is going to mess with the favorals because these guys would be the first ones to get them Okay. All right. We're going to go. Have a great day, guys. Thank you to all of our subscribers. If you have not done so, please like, share, subscribe. If you've made it this far, God bless you. Oh, no. Man, I wish you could have seen the cool car that just went by. There was a cool, cool car. It looked like an old Chevy. Bel Air, maybe? I don't know. That was a cool car. Anyway, have a great day, guys. I'm going to try, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.